After yesterday's game, the Yanks now down 2-1, and that has spelled trouble for them in recent years. The Yanks have lost 10 of their last 11 playoff series when trailing 2-1 after winning 10 of their first 12 such series. So, Jessica Mendoza has gotten up early with us this morning. Jess, great to see you as always. Let's start with the Rays. They go down 1-0, and the whole world is talking about the Yankees, and here they are now a game away from the ALCS. What do you see in them right now? I mean, they are a World Series contender. This is a team, remember, they're the best record in the American League. They beat the Yankees eight out of ten times, but no one wants to give them the attention because they're down there in Tampa and everyone forgets. But they've got three aces. We've talked about all week, right, Greeny? I mean, in Tyler Glass now, Blake Snell, Charlie Morton, we saw in game three what their third ace can do. But let's not forget they've got a star. His name isn't Aaron Judge or John Carlos Stanton. He's not hitting as far bombs or 118 miles an hour off the bat. But Randy Arozarena, are you kidding me right now? Three home runs in the last three games, what he's done with the bat. I mean, it's one thing to be red hot. He has been ridiculously hot in the month of September, just leading in to this playoffs. What he has done with the bat carried this team ignited their offense and not just the home runs but the hits I mean this guy is just stupid good right now and is a star in the making I want to give Tampa Bay some love because they have been good for years now don't get the attention I know they don't have the star power of the New York Yankees but they have beat them time and time again and they're going to the World Series yeah, they're one win away from knocking them out here. And I will tell you this, living in New York as I do and listening to the talk shows here, my friend Michael Kay, the fans are all over the Yankee manager Aaron Boone for the way he handled the pitching situation in game two as we go back to that. If this thing doesn't go well for them tonight, that's going to be one people talk about for a long time. What are your thoughts? Greeny, it'll be the reason. I mean, definitely that is the headline. The reason the Yankees are losing is because the decision is what everyone is saying in that game, too. But ultimately, what it is showing is their weakness. They don't have the starting pitching. I was just talking about the Rays and the fact that they have three aces. The Yankees have Garrett Cole. After him, it's Masahiro Tanaka. We saw his performance last night. We saw what he did against Cleveland last week. They don't have options. So what do you do in 2020? You try to take risks. You try to mix it up. You go with two starters. You go with a righty and a lefty. I'm not saying that that was the best decision, but that's something of where the Yankees are given. The hand that they're given is the fact that they don't have the dudes to go out there game two game three and shut down the Randy Arosa arenas that I just talked about they have options that they have to mix and match get to their bullpen and this is their weakness this is where the Yankees have struggled not just this year but let's look back to the last two postseasons and when they have lost it's come down to the fact that they have not had the arms Let's talk about the Rays because so much because the Yankees are the Yankees. There's so much conversation about them. But Tampa Bay was the best team in the American League. And they're now one win away from putting the Bronx Bombers away. Greedy, and, and they still don't get the attention they deserve. Remember, they beat this Yankees team eight out of ten times. They've had the best record in the American League. And you look at their three starters. We saw Charlie Morton, who was game three. That's their third ace within the staff. Blake Snell. Tyler Glass now was lights out in game two. I mean, between their three pitchers, what they can do, and let's not forget the bullpen. I mean, this is a team that can literally have an opener and use their entire bullpen at, to finish a complete game. They have guys with so much stuff between the breaking ball, the fastballs. How many guys hit 100 miles an hour, by the way, last night alone? And then let's not forget Randy Rosarena. I mean, he is, to me, the MVP right now of this entire series, and that's including what Stanton has done. That guy's been lights out, and he's going to be a star if he isn't already. I mean, the home runs, he's had three consecutive games. He's had 12 hits already within this series, in the postseason. I mean, he has been on fire, and he's been on fire for a month. It's not like he's got a hot streak for a few games. I mean, we're talking four weeks, five weeks of you cannot get this guy out. And whether it's the home run, the clutch hits, he's been doing it all for that Rays offense. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.